Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on what's called slow note terror. And what this is, is um, for working on creating one measure phrases. And when we create solos, we improvise, we want to make one measure and two measure phrases. So we need to start out by being able to create one measure phrases. So within this exercise, what's going to happen is it's going to be what's called a call and response. On the recording there's going to be a phrase played that's one measure and then the next measure is going to be empty and then the following measure there's going to be another measure phrase played and the following one after that is going to be empty and you're going to fill in those empty one measure phrases. Now the key to this which I'll demonstrate later is to make sure you start your phrase when the other one is done, not before. Don't start your phrase while the other um, lick is being played. You gotta make sure you start on the uh, beginning of the phrase. Then you make your phrase and then you have to stop it before that next phrase comes up. Um, you'll understand this a little bit more as, as I show you. Um, and then, then what this is going to help with is also is when we're working on our four measure solos because we're going to be sticking together one measure phrases or one measure phrases and when you're coming up with some phrases you can use this to test it to see if, if it fits in if it's too long too short or whatever so um, yeah let's go ahead and just jump right in and get started okay so let me start out by just demonstrating it for you. Fast forward it a little bit. Now, he'll play a phrase, and there'll be nothing. And that's what you'll play. Here's a phrase, now you will play. Now here's a phrase, now you'll play. On. So that's the way that works. You kind of go back and forth and back and forth. Now um, I'm used to it, so I can come up with one measure phrases perfectly fine. Now what's going to happen in the beginning is you're going to make a phrase that's a bit too long. You know, uh, say that. Maybe you won't play something like that. It'd be a little more simple, but um, let's take that. So here's, here's a lick. Let's see if that all fits within there. So let me go ahead and play this, and we will see. See how it overlaps? That means that it's a bit too long. Stop that for a second. So that means I've got to simplify this and shorten it up. Otherwise, when I create a solo, it's going to be all out of whack. You know, um, it's not going to sound like it's following the, the song. So let's say, uh, so here was the first, the first uh, lick. long so if I shorten it let's see if that fits so you see it's close but maybe it's a, still a little bit too long. Let me play that again and show you. See how it was still playing? Now, technically, if you're going back and forth, you can do that. You can overlap a little bit. 
but for our purposes, we want to be dead on. So that means I got to shorten this still. So let's do uh Let's see if that fits. It's in there. And there you go. That one tends to fit. And that's what you want to do. You want to keep experimenting. Um, let's do uh, another one. I'll do a, something that's a little bit longer, and we'll experiment with that too. Long. Show you that again. So you see how I was still playing when the next lick was playing? And you don't want that. So that means I need to shorten it up a little bit. So I basically play around a little bit. That still sounds too long for me. Yeah, too long. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? Let's try that. It's a little overlapping. Now we're walking with what I do. I'm going to quicken it up a little bit. Did you see what I did there? I quickened it up. First one was... Got a you know, medium speed. And I realize, uh-oh, it's overlapping, so I need to cut something out, or I can quicken it up. And that's what I did, quicken it up. I just fit it in there. Let me just play that one more time so you can hear the difference. Is still playing? That time didn't. Still playing. Now it fits in. So that fits in pretty nicely there. So that's basically it. You just go ahead and just begin by improvising. Go ahead and you can have fun with it and just play through the whole thing but you've got to work on trying to make sure you stay within that one measure because that is what's going to be critical for you to be able to put together solos that are going to make sense underneath the rhythm and line up really good start and stop in the, in the right areas and uh, eventually you're going to get used to what one measure solos um, one measure phrases sound like and two measure phrases and uh, that's what I can do. I mean, I kind of played around a little bit there, but I can right off the spot just come up with one measure phrases and two measure phrases so I know everything's going to work out really well. But in the beginning, you may struggle with this a little bit, but you just use those techniques I just showed you. You just improvise something, and if you're still playing when the other one's playing, then you got to work on trying to shorten it. You know, if you need to come up with another one, that's perfectly fine too. But uh, experiment with taking what you got already and shortening it. And of course, once you, you figured something out, you played something, you got to stop for a second and figure out like, exactly what it is you played so you can repeat it. And then, uh, then you can adjust it. Um, the other thing too is make sure right after the first phrase is done, you, start, you come right in there because you want to make sure you, you don't st want to start halfway through. So get right in there, start, 
and make sure you move right out before that next phrase starts. And uh, yeah, keep experimenting. You'll you'll get it. And then um, and then this is also again great for when you're working on your one uh, four measure solos. So once we're working on that, then you can play around and experiment with a, a phrase. And then you can say, hey, let me try that against the, the slow note terror and see if that fits in okay. And then, uh, you know, then you can go ahead and adjust it. And by the way, in slow note terror, you can take that one lick and just repeat it over and over again. You can kind of adjust it on the fly. But if you have troubles with that, then just simply stop the tape and then work on it. Kind of see if you can take out a couple notes or adjust a few notes. Do like I did there where I, I played something just a little bit quicker so it fit in there. And uh, yeah, keep working on this and, and you'll have these one measure phrases down no problem in, in no time at all. So um, experiment with that. And if you have any questions or problems, then just let me know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next lesson.